Hey everybody, how you doing? This is going to be a little different. I'm going to give a review of a cool piece of tech. I've had uh, I've had VR for about six months uh, in one version or another, and I'm not a big gamer, so I can't really get into VR gaming too much. But I do enjoy the the Google Maps in VR, and this is the other uh, game changer I think I, I have seen so far. And this is the Tilt Brush by Google. It's a painting app in three dimensions. And some of what some artists have created online made me laugh out loud yesterday when I first tried it, just with how awesome it is. Uh, I don't say that lightly either. It blew my mind uh, what, what has been created in these worlds. Right now, this is the start screen. I'm on the Oculus Rift, by the way, uh, which it, it came out for after the HTC Vive. Those are your two main options to choose from with VR. But I'm looking around, so if the camera looks shaky, that's my head looking around in this VR world. It looks awesome. It's uh, it's not perfect. Uh, the current state of VR does have some screen door effects, and it's not the highest resolution, but it looks it looks great. It really does. Uh, even with somebody who wears glasses like me, it, it, it looks awesome. So, let's see what some artists have done with this. Uh, let's go to some examples here. First example I'll load is probably the uh, Starry Night um, impression. So when you first load these, these these are created by users and saved up to the sketchbook, uh, Google's store online storage for the art that users create. When you first load one, you could watch people draw it out like this which is kind of cool. I don't know if this is actually the strokes taken by the artist. I doubt it because you don't see a lot of uh, erases and things like that and fixes. But it's it's cool how they draw it around you. Or you can just press a button here to skip to the end of the level. And that's, that is my hand you're seeing. I'm just waving my hands around. All right, so this, if you've ever wanted to know what it felt like inside of Starry Night, this is what it feels like. I'm looking around. You don't get the half of it because you're not in the world I'm in. Fully three-dimensional and immersive. And you can move around this world. So if you hold the two inner buttons like this, you can adjust your size. Right now I'm the size of an elephant. So this painting is huge. Or not an elephant, a dinosaur. I'm the size of a dinosaur. And go down to an elephant. It gets even bigger. I can go to human size. And this is what the artist thought human size and I'm doing holding the things just to spin around without moving my head and um, it is enormous but it looks amazing now I want to see what Starry Night looks like with some music playing because there's a cool feature right here called audio reactor in the application that will uh, make certain lines, depending on what the artist chose, jump and react based on the music that's playing um, on your computer at the time. So I'm going to start that and let's see what happens. All right, right now you don't see anything because I haven't enabled the, the feature, but I do have some music playing now on the computer. Looking, it found some audio. There it goes. And now, check out the painting. I don't know if you can tell, but that thing is actually responding to the music that's playing. I think that is just beyond awesome. All of a sudden, Van Gogh has come to life for you to watch. It's pretty nifty, huh? So let's load up another one. Let's keep the music playing. Let's load up another sketchbook. Let's do... What one I have saved? Again, we can see as it's being drawn out which is pretty nifty. Or, we can skip to the end. So let's skip to the end. Just take a minute. I 
I do believe this one reacts well to music too. The artist planned that. So you can see not everything moves in the music, but look at this line. Pretty psychedelic. And the amount of detail that's there. If I, if I get right up close, the whisker is moving. Look at the high resolution of that nose. So, I mean, I'm reaching out and touching that. Where do you see that control? That's my right hand. I feel like I can touch that right there. Again, I can change my size. I can go to human size, which is about here, so the artist, and I'm looking up and over to my left, and I can't, can't see the face anymore. And it, it feels like, in this VR world, this lion is that boy. So, yeah. There are some great artists on this tilt brush application. All right, turned off the music for the next one. Uh, the next one wasn't planned ahead for music, so like the certain parts of the image jumps in and shit, and, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and load that one and turn off the feature there. And at the end, I'll show you what I did. So let's load this one real quick. Again, we can we can watch it be drawn. Like that, or I'm gonna skip. Look at this. This, I mean, I mean, I, what do you even say? This thing is huge, first of all. I'm the size of a dinosaur, that's the size of me, and this thing is my size. You zoom in close, look at the detail. Look at the whiskers. Somebody drew this bit by bit in this tool. And look down. Now, when I look down, it looks like that goes pretty far down there. The rest of his little, whatever that is, his body. Let's go to his little platform that the artist made for us. So he's holding here. Yep. And let's go down to human size. So... The artist thinks this is the scale of this thing. This is me standing up. Look at that. Let's get closer to the edge and look down. That thing looks like it goes 20 or 30 feet down. Let's back away from the edge there. And continue to admire the work that went into something like this. It just it blows my mind. It really, really does. And I'm gonna do one more now. And I'm gonna do it with uh, some music. And some of you guys might be a big fan of this next one. Here we go. Would any of you guys happen to be Star Wars fans? And a Star Wars painting that reacts to the music that is being played? We are in the middle of this. I'm walking forward in my living room right now, reading the scrolling text, looking down, looking up, looking around me. A little bit of lost tracking there. Looking around me. I believe those are X Wings, those are AT ATs, and those are. Uh, don't quit me. I'm not a huge fan. Don't hate me. But I'm in the middle of this world. We can go have a look at this world. Get really close on uh, Darth's face here. And still look around. There's Yoda down there. Let's get big so we can move more. If you're little, you don't make much distance when you move. Which makes sense. Yeah. Oh, the lightsaber goes with the music. So I am flying through this this world, this painting, this artwork. And this guy, this this face here is. I if it was in real life, it would be three feet tall. Is what it looks like 
when I have the headset on. And we can look at it, what they're looking at, the rest of the scene out here. Look at behind the sign. And this is just, I mean, what do you even say? I think the artist even signed it hidden back here. We go have a look. Yeah. There's the, there's the artist as we fly through somebody. That guy's good. <laughs> I think we can teleport. Let's teleport over there. And turn around. There we go. And zoom back out. So, that's the Oculus Rift. VR system running Google Tilt Brush. It is amazing. Now let's let's do one that I put together real quick yesterday. Uh, so Google lets you start with a, uh, a three blank snowballs type snowman. There was no fireplace, there was nothing on him. So I just spent 15 minutes real quick learning how to do this yesterday. Added the fire, the logs, the the arms, the face, all that good stuff. So let's go and let's uh let's add him a tongue. I don't know what snowman needs tongue, but I'm moving in this world. I'm gonna go and choose a red tongue. I'm gonna choose the type of brush I want. I want a pinch marker, I'm gonna choose the size of the brush. Pretty small. And let's see if I can get right in here. Come on. I don't know what that is. I'm going to delete it though. I don't like that brush. Let's go for a regular marker. What size am I? I'm pretty small. Alright, we're going to call that the tongue. And we're going to go back to the color here. That we're gonna make this really tiny, and that's his tongue there. Let's zoom back out. I gave my snowman a tongue. This fire is one of the brushes. It's a fire brush, and the embers is a different brush. And the wood is just brown brush strokes, rough brush strokes you can choose to make a little fire down there. But yeah, and also if you look at the carrot. It's actually made up of paper. I don't know if you can tell if you look really closely. It's just, it's a paper brush. So it's very weird and interesting to make something that way. And also look at the size of, I'm, I'm like tiny. I'm the size of a squirrel on my snowman. All the way down to the fire down there. All right, let's get big again. And move away. And that's, uh, that's Google Tilt Brush. You have two major options in VR. You have Oculus and HTC Vive. The Oculus Rift here is much, much, much cheaper. Uh, it's not quite as good resolution-wise, and it restricts your movement a little more. And the, the HTC Vive is like a full room device. This is a little more restricted, but it's good enough for me. I can walk around quite a bit and, and wave up and down and reach down to the floor, reach up high. I can do all that and interact with everything. I recommend it. This is a game changer for me. Um, highly, highly recommend it. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm either going to end it there, or I'm going to cut to Google Maps video, which I think is very cool. I think I'm going to throw Google Earth at the end of this. This is the only other VR game, uh, if you can call it a game, I really play. Um, I love pretending to be able to fly around the world and see everything in 3D and in virtual reality. Uh, all, the, all the data that's in Google Maps. So let's go ahead and start here. And here we are. We are in uh, Arches National Park in Utah. A little road down there. It feels like I'm floating this high above the ground. I don't know if you can get that, but it does. Oh, look, they've taken us to Tokyo. And it feels like I am 
Godzilla height looking around in Tokyo. That building is right there. Now this is Google Maps data, so it's not the highest resolution. Alright, where am I now? Mont Fitzroy in Patagonia has its star sets. Hamburg, Germany. Looking down at the port, I reach. I can reach down and touch. I'm touching. I'm getting next to my border there. Oh jeez. This is Half Dome. I'm at the top of Half Dome. How many of you have ever been at the top? This is the little tour. Let's get in and start. Let's get in and start uh, exploring, shall we? I already know how to explore. Thank you. Yes, I can drag the earth. I guess I'll show you guys. I'm pulling the trigger and I'm, I'm dragging that. And there's, there's the states. I can zoom in. There we go. There's uh, Houston down here. And yeah, we're going to get a lot closer into that in a minute. Place the earth beneath you. I did that. And I can tilt and zoom. So now... Can I skip the tutorial? I know where I want to go. Okay, it gives you a list of places you can go. Let's, uh, let's just save. Let's go to my house here. It's not quite finished here, but uh, you've seen that view from me spamming it on Facebook enough family has anyway friends and right about there is my place where I got the little cursor if you can see the cursor and this is and I can change the time of day so this must be Sun in the summertime is right now every morning the Sun comes up quite a bit over there uh, not that far north so yeah, but this is uh, I'm gonna look over my shoulder, watch the sun go down over the Galleria area, over there. For that, let's go maps. Now I can fly, so I'm pushing the thumb button. I'm flying. Let's fly down to downtown here, or City Hall, and bam, just like that, I'm in City Hall. It's still playing the tutorial. Okay, go away tutorial. Thank you. But uh, yeah, see where I'm in Herman Square. This is just, I mean, I just love being able to fly around. Let's go somewhere cool. Not that Houston isn't cool, but that we haven't uh, we haven't explored yet. We go to the zoo in Houston. I spend a lot of time at the Houston Zoo. But anyway, so let's tilt the Earth up and rotate it north and zoom out. I'm floating up into space. I feel like it. The Earth is massive. So, where do you want to go? Well, I guess we can pull up the menu now and choose some places. Eat sure. Let's go to... Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's go... Let's go to Belgium. I love this little piece of artwork. Not little. This giant piece of artwork they have in Belgium. So we're in Brussels, and I'm flying around, choosing my height, where I want to go, pretend like I'm flying down this road here, and I mean, I guess you just have to experience it in VR, but this is, this is amazing. You can go all the way down to the ground, but it's just geometric shapes when you do that, like this. See, it's um, not the highest definition, but recently they did, recently they did add uh, Street View. So if I if I pop my head in this bubble right here, I will go into Street View, the latest Street View image of this area, and I look, I'm looking around. Or if I click on it, I can I can get more interactive with the Street View, and actually drive around the streets um, in this town. So I can have a virtual vacation in this place, which is. I mean, 
this is the future. <laughs> let's go look at this. And let's get back out. And when you get back out, you go right back to where you were. And let's fly up. And go anywhere in the world we want to go. That's the Google Earth feature. I can spend hours doing this. There's our Earth. Right there. Beautiful. Looking around. There's the States. Alright guys. Thanks for watching.